And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. Stick looking to throw on first and 10. A little short pass. This is Everett. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. It cost himself some yardage there. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now stick. And bulldozing his way through. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. First down, Los Angeles. Stick back to pass. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. They're going to go play action now with Stick. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Back deep for Denver, the rookie Marvin Mims. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Wilson and the Broncos now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Off the play fake, Wilson. And incomplete on the deep ball. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now the third-year man back and healthy. It's Javante Williams. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. Here's Wilson to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Second and ten. It's Wilson again. And it's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. On third down, Wilson. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you wonder, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be up to the races. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and six. Off the option, here's Williams. And some one to left. And they nearly sprung in that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. Again, it's Williams. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. It's 
a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Up the middle, it's Williams. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. Play action. Now Wilson. He finds Sutton crossing the formation complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Second quarter about to begin from Denver. It's the Broncos in possession of the football as they go to work on a first and goal. Here's Wilson. Touchdown, Broncos! Adam Troutman from four yards out. And the Broncos post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here this second quarter. Lux with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it culminates in a touchdown by the Broncos. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. First carry for Austin Eckler, who's a Colorado native. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Here's Stick looking to throw. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle, third of the field. That'll bring in second down. the middle with Eckler five yards now it's third and five that second down play call was not to pick up the first down but was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down so they were behind the sticks so to speak they need to make up some ground and they did they'll get this out wide to Eckler still going inside the 20 and finally wrestled down at the 11. A big play there on the catch and run. 44 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Eckler now between the tackles. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Now Kelly running left. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Stick looks to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Drop to throw. And yeah, that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. Oh, just a crushing penalty there. You force the incompletion on fourth down, but bail him out by roughing the passer. If you want to see barely controlled fury, take a look at the... And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. Austin Eckler punching it in from a yard away. And the Chargers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And we are tied at seven.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Second and 10 now from the 27. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Throwing is Wilson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. It's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. From the shotgun, Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And yeah, that will be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Wilson in the offense not coming off the field. They're going for it on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And he'll find Sutton on the right side complete. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. The Broncos unable to convert here on fourth. And the Charger defense stands tall, and they get the football back. First and 10, stick. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw here. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They'll come up facing third and five. Looking to throw. He's got Allen. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down game. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Sticks throw there complete to Allen. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 12 more yards there and another first down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. And his kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. 
so they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. So there you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A good, tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And the Broncos offense set to begin this third quarter. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. On second down, Williams. Now he's loose at the 40. Javante Williams. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 125 yards rushing for him now as this sensational afternoon continues. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Wilson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up the third down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And Williams is in for a Bronco touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Broncos have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Lutz good on the extra point, and the lead is now 14 to 10. the touchdown Lutz to kick it off now we'll look at the Chargers offense they get ready for their first possession of the second half and Charles it feels like we're set up for a good second half here came out of the locker room one score game now the lead has already changed hands well this offense They've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. I to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, when you pointed out to me at half, seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Here's J.K. Scott now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He'll send this one into the mile-high air, and it's a good one. 
Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. Denver's offense now set to go. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still about to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. They go play action now. Wilson. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Second and ten now, Wilson. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Here's Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 23. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Touchdown! Russ able to connect with Cortland Sutton there. And the Broncos are able to stretch out their lead. Lutz with the extra point, and that makes it a 21-10 game. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And Corbin Sutton able to finish things off with the touchdown reception. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. 13 yards. And the Chargers first down. It's Eckler again. Taken down at the 42. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Now stick. A little short pass. This is Everett calling the gain of three on the play. And that'll bring us to a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Stick back to pass. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. DJ Jones drops him for a four-yard loss there. And that brings up fourth down. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for L.A. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And coming out now, the Broncos. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due, because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Now Wilson. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. 
Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. On third down, Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown, Broncos. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Broncos get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Lutz good on the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. So the drive there, they went 80 yards in three plays. And Cortland Sutton able to finish things off with the touchdown reception. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll throw on second down his stick. A little short pass. This is Everett, and he goes out right around the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They're going to look to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little gain. Stick looks to throw it again. And that one to the right side and incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. That throw into the arms of Allen. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but I believe he might be a few inches short. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on down. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example. And look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And they work this well up field across the 45. 160 yards rushing for him now, as he has been tremendous all day long. Now Wilson on first down. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Russell Wilson now with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Broncos are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Lutz with the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. 
And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Chargers. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Stick looks to throw. A little short pass. This is Everett. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now, and if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. On fourth down, here's Stick. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Here's Stick looking to throw. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Second and a couple. He'll drop to throw. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. Stick looking to throw on first and 10. Throw over the middle, and it's caught by Johnston. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Stick to throw once more. A little short pass. This is Everett. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. They'll look to throw again. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Take him down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. The decision made for him. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Pat Sertan. There he goes left side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead. And it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances. And that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. 
And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Back to throw here. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. One final shot, they'll look to throw. And this is dropped and incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is gone. As time has run out on this ball game. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance and what, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously you're training.